In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a high ISO noise level photograph using the Topaz products Denoise and Sharpen AI. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who have not been here before, my name is Ron Durant. I live in East Tennessee and I'm a photographer. In this video, we're going to talk about high noise level photographs and how to fix them. So here's the scenario and I'm going to set you up for this uh, edit. Uh, the other morning I got up early and there was a hawk sitting on the fence in my back field. And it was about 7 o'clock in the morning. I knew it was pretty dark out, so I got my Nikon D500 and the 500PF, and I, I set it for ISO 6400. Now, initially, my shutter speed was about 1 1,000, well, that was too fast. I had to drop my shutter speed down to 1 250th, and that was all the further that I really felt comfortable going down hand-holding this lead. Now, the Nikon D500 is not notorious for its high ISO capabilities, but I was able to significantly improve this photograph enough where it was acceptable to post on social media. Now, would I print the image? Probably not. It's it's acceptably sharp for social media, and really, I've got another video I'll put a link to at the at the in the descriptions that I describe my philosophy about photographs photography and social media how much editing we should really be doing so check the description below and uh, you check out that video after you watch this one so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you into my computer and we're going to edit this photograph this high iso noise photograph uh, using lightroom and um, the topaz products the denoise product and the sharpen ai and i'm going to show you my process to recover this photograph so stay tuned all right, I brought the photographs into Lightroom, and I want to show you this one right here. I didn't use it, but this is the one I was talking about that is one one thousandth of a second at ISO 6400. And as you can see, I'm going to go to full screen here so you can see the noise in it. It's quite noisy. It's too dark. And uh, so what I had to do is I dropped my shutter speed down to one two fiftieth, and uh, I'm going to show you those right now. So this is the one... Here, this image, I dropped the shutter speed down on the D500 to 1 250th of a second. And it's a little bit less noisy. Uh, you can see there, it's a lot better looking than that one at 1 1,000th of a second. Uh, I was able to handhold this at 1 250th, and I felt comfortable doing that. I did not feel comfortable going much lower than that. So what I thought I'd do is bring it into Lightroom and see how uh, Lightroom handled it. So I'm going to show you my edit here real quick, how I did this, and I'm going to look at this photograph right here. So um, the first thing I usually do when I bring a photograph like this in is uh, I do a basic Lightroom edit on it first, and then I run it through some denoise software. So I want to hit the auto button and let um, Lightroom have a whack at it here. Uh, it's a little bit too bright for me, so I'm going to reduce that just a little bit. And I think I'm just going to go with what Lightroom suggested here. And as you can see all the settings it did. The majority of the time when I'm editing for social media, I just um, let Lightroom do the auto part. And I may tweak it just a little bit. But it's not like I'm going to print it. And I, if I'm going to print it, I'm going to do a lot more work to it. Okay. So the first thing I did was I went into Topaz Denoise. So I'm going to right click on the image. Go to Edit In. And Topaz Denoise is in the list right here. So I'm going to let Denoise launch. These are my settings for it. I use the file format of TIFF with a resolution of 300. And I'm going to let Denoise start up. Here we are in Denoise. And I like to use the quad view so I can look at all four options here at one time. And I'm going to slide down to its head so I can see its head right here. And... This is the standard model, which is not doing a real good job. Clear is doing fairly well. Uh, low light is doing pretty good. But severe noise, I don't consider that very well. Out of all these, the one I like the best is the clear. So I'm going to click on clear, and that's the model it's going to choose. I always use the model preferences, and you can change that right here, the sliders. 
And you can play with these little sliders right here a little bit. You can increase the detail and, and some of the noise reduction. And I usually don't play with it too much right there. I just go ahead and apply that. And it's going to take us back to Lightroom with the denoise. So it takes a little while for um, Lightroom, for denoise to come back to Lightroom. So I sped it up just a bit. Now I'm going to look at this closely. And as you can see, I'm going to show you the original one, which is this one. This is what we started with. Okay. And this is where we're at right now. And it did a fairly good job. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do now is apply some sharpening. So I'm going to use the Topaz Sharpen AI. I'm going to go down to uh, right click on the image, go down to edit in and pick the Sharpen AI. So I own the three products, same settings. I own the three products, uh, Denoise, Sharpen, and Gigapixel. And I use all three of them. So this is a before and this is an after. Now I want you to notice something here. Uh, Sharpen is really messing with me right up here in this top right hand corner of the image. And that's where the leaves are uh, in, on the ground. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a mask. I don't want to sharpen this whole image. All I really want to sharpen is this bird right here. And mainly, mainly the top portion of the bird because the rest of it's kind of out of focus a little bit. So I'm going to go down and click on this little camera icon here, which says selectively sharpen your image. You click on that. And then you click on the add button here and it unselects the entire mask. Now what we're going to do is come over here and uh, left click on the mouse and we're going to brush in the areas that we want to sharpen. This is all the area that's going to get sharpened is this right here. Okay. And then I'm going to say apply. You're applying the mask and now we're going to apply the desharpening. I'm going to select model preferences right here and we're going to say apply. So this is the um, Sharpen AI model. Um, this is before the Sharpen. This was the uh, denoise only. And this is the original here. As, as you can see, um, let me take these and uncheck these right here. So I'm going to show you these uh, separately, full screen. So this is the original image. And this is the denoised image. And this is the, uh, as the edits applied with the sharpening. So it looks pretty good. It's, it's kind of cleaned up pretty good compared to the first one right here. So I want to do a few more tweaks to it. And I'll show you what those are now. What I want to do now is I want to work on the bird alone without the background stuff. So I'm going to go here to the masking tool in Lightroom. You can do shift W to get there quickly. And I'm going to say select subject. It should select the bird. But if you notice, it selected some of the gate also. I don't want to fool with the gate. I just want to fool with the bird. So what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you a short little um, trick here that I use to get rid of something quickly from the mask. Just go ahead and, and select the mask itself. And you'll get this little drop down with add and subtract. Click on subtract. And I'm going to use a linear gradient. And I'm going to start right here in this corner. And I'm going to draw up towards the bird. Okay. And I need to move that just a little bit like that. I'm going to do just like that. So it's removed most of the gate. And I'm going to accept that as it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to work on this bird. So the first thing I want to do is increase the exposure just a tad. I'm going to reduce this contrast because we want to add contrast on our own. Bring the highlights down. And we're going to increase the whites just slightly, about 22. And, and decrease the blacks just a little bit. Okay. And since we have the birds selected, let's go ahead and apply a little Lightroom sharpening. And I'm going to go right down here to detail section and increase the sharpening of the bird a little bit. And we're going to reduce a little bit more noise there, help it out just a bit. And I'm going to increase the texture just a hair. And let's see what clarity does. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to zoom back out. And so far the bird's looking pretty good, okay, at this distance. Uh, when you zoom in on it, 
you know, it's not perfect, but it's still looking better than what we started with at a high ISO file. So one more thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, duplicate and invert the bird mask so I get everything else. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the exposure because I like to separate the background from the foreground. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit, bring the contrast down and the highlights. And we're going to warm it up, increase the temperature of it. And I believe what we're going to do is add a little saturation. And then we're going to go down here and reduce the texture, which is going to soften it up a little bit. And that's looking pretty good so far. I only have one more thing I need to do. I'm going to click on the masking tool to get rid of the mask. And that's to crop it. So I'm going to hit, uh, I'm in the develop mode. I can click on this tool right here to crop it, or I can just hit the R key. And when I got the R key, it's got a horizontal crop. I want to do a vertical crop. To do a vertical crop quickly, just hit the X key and it'll convert it to a vertical. Hit the X again and it goes back to a horizontal. So I want a vertical crop. And what I want to do is I want uh, more on the bottom of the frame and then above the bird. So that's a pretty good crop for me right there. So that is how you edit something with high ISO, ISO noise using Lightroom, Topaz Denoise, and Sharpen AI. I hope this helped you. So there you have it. That was my edit on that very noisy photograph. And I thought it turned out pretty well. Uh, I posted it to my Facebook page and um, you can go look at it over there if you want to. Uh, my Facebook page is www.facebook.com forward slash at sign RD photo the number two. That's at sign RD photo number two. Also, too, if you want to check out some of my other photography, uh, check out my website at www.photosbyron.com. Anyways, thanks for sticking around tonight and watching this edit. I hope you got something useful out of it. If you did, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to grow my channel. It really helps a long ways. Because sometimes we're watching these videos and we're really interested in what we're watching, but we forget to hit the like button. It helps everybody that has a YouTube channel if you do that. So if you can remember to do that, it would be great. And I really appreciate it. So the next time, my name is Ron Durant. I'm a photographer and I live in East Tennessee. Good night, y'all.